I'm Ben. I'm sorry. If you would like to get your song reviewed, dear listener, there's the filthy capitalist option. It's sorry says. 125 gets you straight to the head of the line. You don't have to be a part of Alliance. You don't have to be part of the group. Wait a minute. And the biggest thing is you don't have to wait. You hop, skip, and jump right in front of everybody. 125 gets you there. You do that three times, and then get matched down to the $75 rate for perpetuity. Yes! Also, there is a band review option. <laughs> so if you've got a band and you're trying to get your band some exposure, hit me up at sorry at gmail.com, and I'll show you the details about how to pull you that off. You can also jump on Patreon, and there is a option on the tiers to be able to get your band reviewed. Yep. Obviously, we can't lie to you. So we can't guarantee, can't guarantee a positive you review. A positive review. <laughs> get what you get. It's just rubbish. 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 That's British for garbage. Ah! My favorite is the community option. One dollar at the gate gets you in a Patreon. You get to join an alliance. The alliance joins their points together, and that helps determine what songs that we do. <laughs> the alliances hang out on Discord. Shh. Message me on Patreon to get the link. And they do all kinds of other cool things. They do Minecraft. What? Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah, yeah. It's really a community within the community. Anybody can go on the village, facebook.com backslash Finn and Sorry. There's 160 plus thousand people on the channel. What's cool about the Discord is that it offers a real opportunity for community connection, friendship, that type of thing. But, and it's on Discord, so if you're not a Facebook person, it's for you. You start off at a dollar. Right. Plus you get exclusives. Sorry and I are working on a song. So the first 15 seconds of that was on Patreon. Also, at $15 here and above, when we actually debut the video, they're going to be there live with us. There you are, dear listener. Fire merch. King of the Nordic Twilight. Let's do it.
Okay, that. People use the term epic a lot. I don't. I don't use the term epic a lot. Uh, but that was. I don't like power metal as a genre, man. Hmm. Because it's it's too monolithic, in my opinion. It all sounds the same. But this band, this is like, you know, like this a, is fun. Zonia's group is a, they're a doom metal band technically, mm -hmm. but they added so many different elements to it. Mm -hmm. Like, that's the problem that I have with a lot of power metal. It's just, nah, 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 verse, chorus, verse, chorus. Okay, you're an excellent musician. You've mm -hmm. got a great voice. We know. We it's just not moving. <laughs> it doesn't move. Uh, it, it, it just, there's, I'm not going to mention the name of the band because I'm not out to disrespect anybody, but there's a, there's a power metal group that we listen to, like, in year one, and and the you know what I'm talking about. Oh, the one we didn't finish. Well, we finished it, but we couldn't. We couldn't. Uh... Just tell me. No, remember we had to stop the review. Just whisper in my ear. No, I'm not going to. Why not? Because you know which one I, I'm talking no, about. No, I want you to whisper in my ear. No. I was being direct, not. Oh. Mm -hmm. Tell me. <laughs> oh, that seriously hurt. Yeah. That, that was actually really frustrating. Ugh, I did not like that. Um. But they, but they were horrible. And it was a very annoying noise. I'm not going to say they okay. were horrible. They were good at what they were doing. It was just... Okay. Uh, you know, I don't know. We just didn't like them. So we wouldn't even we wouldn't even grade the song. Uh-huh. We wouldn't even grade the song because it was that bad. Oh, well. You know what I'm talking about? I don't remember, but... Are you kidding me? I, I don't remember. And I'm not letting you say it to me. We don't need to. We don't need to even talk about it. Oh, okay. I do know now. Yeah, like yeah, it was just like, eh. and they were big. Every 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 reaction, every YouTube reaction group was was doing them, and doing oh my god, yada yada yada. And I was like, nah. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, we're not we're not. Doing I wonder it. if we gave it another try if we would like it. No, because we did. We listened to it again. The we poll like is it. in. The raid starts in an hour. Beer three hours after that. It was just such a. It was such a horrible. I, we couldn't stand him. We could, it was just such a terrible, terrible. Ugh. Yeah, I don't understand why we don't just say it out loud. Because I, I don't want to disobey. I don't want to disobey. Because it's, we it's didn't the only, like them. It was the we, only, I just gave that other band a three. Yeah, it was the only group we listened to where we couldn't even. We, we didn't even. We did publish a review. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I think we left it up on Patreon. I think. Yeah. Um, it was just <laughs> no. Don't do that. It, it was just ugh. Just not our thing, man. It's just not what we're, you know. Yeah. So yeah. I, I can't stand part, but this band, there was so many different variations and different um, ways of going about doing power metal that I really, really enjoyed. They set up, they set the pace, the the tone with yeah. the with the you know the little intro, and it really. I had a Lord of the Rings type. Uh, I remember when I yeah. first, first saw yeah, Lord I of did. the Rings. Like the first time you saw that movie and just how well done it was and how they made the land itself was mm -hmm. almost like a character and, and just... Uh, that must have been crazy to see it in the theaters. Oh, yeah. Oh, you didn't see Lord of the Rings in the how theaters? How could I have? That was totally bad all the way around. I told you he was a Catholic. He was like a hardcore. It didn't matter. It was bad. Oh man, it was it was a it, it was an it was an the experience. elves. There was like kind of magicy sort of stuff. It was all. It, I saw the first time I saw Lord of the Rings. I was actually at the hospital. I was at the I was at the um, mental hospital, or whatever. And uh, you know, if if you were good enough and not trying to you know kill yourself, then they would they would let us. They, we we got to go to the movies once 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 a week eventually. So I finally got oh, cleared. Oh, that's cool. I finally got clear, cleared after like uh, they're Ben Webb's favorite band. Holy smokes! I got cleared. That's a lie. Can't be. Um, after like you know two months or whatever, and so Lord of the Rings was the first one I went to see. What, was did you see the first one? Oh yeah, and I wow. was absolutely blown. Like I'm, I'm actually I don't know. We might see it tonight. I don't know. That like this song legit might make me want to like actually go see it tonight. But I was just like so blown. Oh yeah, that would be a fun one to do with the kids too. Yeah. I was so blown away by, and, and this song was like, if there was like a metal Lord of the Rings soundtrack, like this song would be there. Like it was just one of the best experiences I've ever had in my life. It it, it was fun. I, it, do those like kind of scenes even exist anymore? You know, like, like in Lord of the Rings, when you see them having fun, they're dancing on the wooden tables, they're all... Locked arms and beer, passive beer. Like, yeah. is there like yeah, a no, spot in the world where that weed? still exists? Uh, what's his mate? What's his face? Uh, Gandalf. He was smoking his weed or whatever it was. And 
or his yeah. herbs or whatever it was that he was yeah. smoking. Yeah, but does that exist anymore? Like that, could you go somewhere in the world? Like if you took a trip, is there some place in the world where that that type of bar scene still exists? Oh, I'm sure. I, I'm sure. I'm but sure. But wherever that like, is, I want to do that at some point. Yeah. I'm sure, yeah, I'm sure there's a place in Europe where, where that shit is still going down and people, unfortunately, it was tobacco. <laughs> um, but yeah, like, I really, really like the song. It was funny, too, because everybody's like, yo, let's go on a break. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And like, that's what it's supposed to evoke. It's supposed to evoke yeah. that kind of feel. Like, lyrically, it did, it did. Lyrically, it was about kings and we're going to be kings and we're going to rule mm-hmm. together and all that stuff, which obviously as a Christian, that's uh, extremely uh, powerful to me as a Christian, mm-hmm. that concept. Um, because, you know, that's, that's the entire, that's the entire show. That's the goal is to rule the universe together with Christ. Um, but I still try to reconcile it. Like why is, we all know war is hell, right? We all know war is hell, but why is the concept of strapping up with your homies and going into battle? Why is that such a, 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 an exciting and blood know, maybe pumping this... beautiful emotion that, that gets everybody stirred up. You know what I'm Maybe saying? there's going to be a form of that in the world after this one. Yeah, I had a theory. I had a theory about that. You know, like there's some things that you can't redeem at all, but maybe there's a way to redeem that. What was your theory? Well, I'll, I'll tell you offline because it's, it's probably borderline uh, heretical. Oh. oh. So... Um, but yeah, I a red day, a sword day, yeah. air of the sun rises. <laughs> yeah, like it's just it's just like I don't know what it is, man. I, and, and maybe mm-hmm. it's just something where you, you could say evolutionarily or whatever, whatever other um, way you want to think about it, where it's like um, we have to feel like that in this current world because. There's still sin in the world, and mm-hmm. there's still bad guys. Yep. And and you you need to have that. But and, and that's one of the things I fear actually about our current culture is that like everybody's warrior spirit is being blunted to a degree, which of course, you know, and, and you see it like when we're in the yeah. gym, you know, like oh, in the gym and people just loafing around. It's man, like, we we got out of the sauna and like. Sometimes I don't even get it. There'll be somebody that that looks like really built, but they're not doing any work. And I'm like, that's what I'm saying. Like, what are you taking something? Because you look so friggin' lazy, man. And I don't understand how come you were just loafing like that sort of like walking around that people do when they're like, they don't even want to exert the energy to lift their feet a little bit above the ground. So it's almost like sliding your feet like that. I I don't get that. But I do think when we were talking earlier in the reviews about, the kings having to go to war with their sons. Like, so I, I'm not, like, super good at being, like, like strict with Orion. Like, he needs to, he's two. So, like, sometimes he gets away with stuff that I'm like, eh, it's probably not a good play to let him get away with that. Um, but if I knew that in the future he was going to have to, like, go to, like, a physical war, then, like, I think that I would be more likely to be, like, you would want to make sure that your kid wasn't a bitch. <laughs> that's true because you need to have him alive and the only way for that's him to true. be alive is if he's going to be tough and so you're not going to accept that sort of like them folding into your bosom like but I, it's so cute when they're like <laughs> but then i'm like yeah, yeah in new york city like the moms are you they, see it on the train the moms are dragging the kids shoving them kids says some dumb shit they smack them and right and, and nobody's like we're gonna call so, you know it's yeah. just because they understand the the, mm-hmm. the the culture they're gonna have to raise that kid in. Mm-hmm. Um, but um, yeah, yeah, the camaraderie aspect. You know, the higher the stakes in a given situation, then the higher the the camaraderie. Yep. Right. The more you have to lose, you know, the more you love the people that you're that you're riding with. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So I I understand that, and we've got a lot of camaraderie in our family. I, I think our family is particularly close. Um, oh, for sure. And I, I think a lot of it has <laughs> to do with our, um, you know, the fact that we have multiple businesses and things like that. Mm-hmm. But, but there's there's also there's also bad guys. Yeah, and like there's also a consistent stream of bad guys that yes. we have to deal with. Yes, and I think like 
sometimes they're like they want like square footage more square footage from like where we live i'm like when we get more square footage they're gonna miss each other because they are gonna spread out but i'm like they're probably all gonna land like in the same <laughs> i'll find i'll probably find them all sleeping in the living room or 100%. something i'll be like you guys go sleep in your room 100 percent, 100 percent. um uh what do you get the song uh this one was really fun 9.8 Holy smokes, I had a 9.8 as well. Ah, look at that. And a 9.8. Mm-hmm. It was a really, really, really good song. This actually was going to be the ending song, but then we gave an extra one. Because, we did. Uh, because of you. Actually, it's because of my little brother. But uh, anyway, um, we're coming back with one more black metal hit. It's Bathory's Twilight of the Gods. We're coming right back for you. If you're not in, in with us or whatever, there's nothing that can be done. You're just going to have to check it out on regular YouTube. Then out. Sorry, out. Go! Out.